Attendez tout d'abord quelques messages personnels. Afternoon. Yes, it's the anniversary of D-Day. And um, I'm a huge historian. So, today, even though Kimberly is not here, but Victoria is, I'm going to make a healthy version of fish and chips. All the while watching my favorite movie to watch on the longest day, The Longest Day. Stay tuned. Aber auch für die Deutschen. Der längste Tag wird. Der längste Tag. So, I have the longest day on, and I'm getting together my healthy fish and chips. So, the reason that I'm I'm going healthy fish and chips is that most of y'all know I'm a macro dieter. What does that mean? That means that I watch my fat, my carbs, and my protein. And, you know, protein I have a lot more room with. And the thing is that if you fry it, it's going to add a lot more fat. And while 81 grams of fat sounds like a lot that I have to eat in a day, it really isn't. Because when I add in the, the walnut milk that I put in my coffee or the, the steak I had for lunch, things like that, it can get high. So I'm doing a healthy fish and chips. And so our recipe today is one pound fresh or thawed cod, one medium sweet potato cut crosswise, one gold potato cut crosswise, two tablespoons of olive oil, a quarter cup of flour, uh, some egg whites, breadcrumbs, almonds, herbs, including salt and pepper, and some lemon. I'm also gonna top this off with a coleslaw and make a fresh tartar sauce. So I hope you are willing to join me. Being as it's just me here and I can't really, you know, take the phone with me everywhere. I'm going to first get the potatoes ready for cutting and then come right back. See you in a few. Okay, so as I listen to how uh, they have no idea if they're going to be able to go because of the weather in England. If y'all ever think about in history what it actually takes for things to happen... And the fact that it does, you know, the weather over Normandy was not good. And they had put off the invasion several times. That's one of the reasons why it was so cool that we pulled it off. I mean, it was, you know, a team effort. But anyway, so to me, because this is set in England, they're in England getting ready to go. I'm making fish and chips. So what I'm doing first is cutting the potatoes and getting the potatoes ready. Now this recipe, as I said, I, I, I looked up because I wanted something lower in macros. Well, I kind of kept to what I like to do historically, which is, you know, <laughs> eat certain foods for what I'm doing. Uh, to each his own is kind of like what I say. However, you know, it, it I kind of enjoy doing things like this. I enjoy incorporating history into my everyday life because I'm also a historian as I've said before I mean I've been many things in my life but I, I love being a broadcaster I always want to talk the news I cook I answer um, I'm a mom and uh, so I have several facets to my personality so I looked hard and found this recipe that calls for sweet potatoes as well as regular potatoes for the chips. So I've got the potatoes cut. I know I got my little stand here, so it's kind of hard to see. I've got the potatoes cut. However, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this sweet potato. I think I'm going to have to cut it in half and then cut it. 
This is an organic sweet potato. That's better. And then I'll cut this into smaller chips. Now, for those of you who like sweet potatoes the way I do, um, it is just like a, it's better on your blood sugar just a little bit on um, some people. Now, potatoes don't seem to affect me, but uh, I think this is just a, a little bit better. So I'm cutting up the sweet potato. And I may not use all of it because so it's just me uh, today because Kimberly is with her daddy. So it's just me today. In fact, I think I will I'll put this to the side. So the next thing I have to do, see I got my, my lovely potatoes. I'm going to salt and pepper them. and put them on the baking sheet here. And after I put them on the baking sheet, I'm going to put oil on them and then stick them in the oven while I get the fish going. Okay, so we're getting everything ready. So I have the potatoes ready. The oven is ready, so I'm gonna put the potatoes in. Okay, so while that goes, I am getting the station set up for the fish. And the first one here, I have a quarter cup of organic flour. And the second one here, I have milked walnuts. If y'all haven't tried this, it's incredible. It's literally nothing but walnuts and water. It's not sweetened, and it's perfect for coffee. I put it in mine. And I have it mixed with egg whites here. And in the third station, I have organic breadcrumbs. And I am crushing right now some almonds to go into it. And then this is also going to get a bunch of spices. So here are the crushed almonds to go in here, and then I'm gonna put a whole bunch of spices on it. Sorry, I had to move my little stand here. I just got to excuse that today, because normally I'm here with Kimberly. And not today. Today, it's just me doing everything together, all together. So I'm having to kind of walk around and do things but I think that we can do this. Okay, so I've got all my spices in here. And the only thing I have left to do is cut up the fish. And that's a kind of a funny story today because <laughs> my seafood people know me as a salmon lady because I really like to get salmon. <laughs> and put it in salads and things like that, uh, you know, because I'm a macro watcher. So she was kind of surprised when I got fresh cod to make my fish and chips. So it's two big pieces. I'm going to cut this down to make four pieces of fish. Okay, so now we're ready. I've got the fish washed, rinse, everything to go with the steps here. So first, it goes into the flour. Then it goes into the egg white and milk walnut mixture. Then it comes into the last mixture of breadcrumbs, almonds, and all the spices. And I'm going to put it over here in my pan. So it's nicely breaded here. It's just not going to be fried.
So yes, I made four, I'm making four pieces of fish, even though it's just me. But you know what? That means I have leftovers, right? That's one of the things you have to learn as an organic mom, because everything is so expensive, is that you have to save what you have left because it is so expensive, especially when you're a single mom on a budget and it costs you $300 to go to the grocery store. Now it didn't cost me that much to go, but you get the, you get the point. All right. So our fish is ready to go into the oven. So I'll be back in a minute. So here is my dinner tonight. My chips, which are sweet potato and gold potato. Codfish breaded in breadcrumbs, flour, almonds, walnut milk, spices, as well as egg whites. And a broccoli coleslaw with balsamic vinaigrette dressing and a homemade tartar sauce. It looks so delicious. I can't wait to finish my movie and eat my dinner. Bon appetit, everybody.